Hi everyone, it's Abigail from The Creative Bix, and today I want to show you how to make this easy, fun lettering in Procreate on the iPad. Quickly before we get started, here are the main things I will be using today. Um, if I use anything else, I'll be sure to mention it, and everything will be linked in the description below, so be sure to check that out. Now to start, I will actually be using my Sadie brush, and I'm going to be using my glow stick palette. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start by drawing some lines, and I'm going to actually up the size of the Sadie brush to be pretty big. Um, and you're just going to start by drawing vertical lines in any color you'd like. Um, and we're just going to do that all the way across the canvas until the entire canvas is filled. So now that you've laid all the colors down, um, they don't need to be perfectly or evenly spaced or vertical. Um, you just can lay them down pretty roughly. What we're going to do is go over to our adjustment menu and we're going to tap Gaussian Blur. And then to blur it, you're just going to swipe to the right for as much as you want. You can totally go all the way. Um, I'm going to probably just go to be about 23%. That looks pretty good. And then we're going to go into our adjustment menu again, and we're going to hit the liquify tool. And from there, you can decide we're going to do twirl right. And I like to have my size all the way up for this so I can cover a pretty large expanse of the canvas at the same time. And then distortion, we're going to go all the way up as well. So then what you're going to do is just tap and kind of drag and let it swirl wherever you like. Okay, and you can do it as much or as little as you want. I'm going to leave it like this. And then from there, we are going to add a new blank layer and we are going to tap and drag it to be beneath this first layer. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to tap and make this a clipping mask. So what happens is when you draw on the layer below, it'll show up. So this clipping mask layer will show up on any of the pixels that are put down on the layer it is clipped to. So to do the fun lettering today, I'm just gonna show you which brush we're using. We're using the pudding brush from my um, Shiny Sheet collection, the one that is pressure sensitive and will work best with an Apple Pencil because you can see that when you press lighter, you'll have a thin stroke and as you start to press harder, you'll get um, a bigger, thicker stroke there. So now I'm just gonna get rid of that layer and I'm gonna draw on this layer beneath. And you can see those beautiful colors coming through and you can see that shine just a little bit, but there's actually a little bit more depth in this brush that you saw before. So what's gonna happen is we are going to change the blend mode on top, on this top layer to overlay. And you can see the colors completely changed and that is because this top layer is mixing with that bright purple that we were using. And so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna clear that layer, but keep it. And we're going to change it to be like, um, kind of a mid-tone gray, not completely all the way over, just a little bit of saturation in that purple, but um, pretty neutral. And so when I start to draw again, those colors are gonna interact much better with that. So now you can see that we are using kind of a neutral tone gray, and then that's gonna interact with those colors here on the clipping mask that is on the overlay blend mode. And really quick to show the difference in those blend modes, this is when you um, use the shiny chic brushes with the normal blend mode. And this is what it looks like with that overlay blend mode. You can see that there's a lot more depth um, in those edges right here versus it kind of just being flat with shine. Um, so blend modes really do make a big difference when you're using these. Okay, so we're just going to clear that layer again. And now you can start lettering on this bottom layer here. So as I'm lettering, I'm keeping in mind how hard I'm pressing at each stroke. Usually on down strokes, I'm a little bit heavier handed. And then on the up strokes, I make it a little bit, I pull up my pencil so I have lighter pressure and it's a little bit of a smaller stroke. And so just keep that in mind as you continue to letter um, lighter on the up strokes, heavier on the down strokes. And then to finish off the piece, I'm going to add just a little bit of an exclamation mark and you have your final lettering design. If you're happy with the end result and you like the way it turned out, you're good to go. But I wanna also show you how to add um, a different color background um, in case you want it not just plain white. So to do this, I am going to add a new layer on the very top and I'm gonna take the color black and I'm just gonna fill that whole entire layer and then I'm gonna tap and I'm gonna drag it to be beneath everything. So you can see that when we did this, when we changed the color of the background, what happened is we lost that same sheen that we had on our letters that we had before. So to fix this, we are going to add a layer above our black background and we're going to go into our color menu and we're gonna double tap near that white and it'll give you the perfect shade of white. 
and you can go in and you're on that layer beneath the lettering and you can go in with like the CD brush again or a brush of your choosing and you could fill it in by hand and do every little shine that you need to fill back in but there's an easier way to do it so I'm going to go back and what we're going to do is to do the faster method you are going to tap on your layer with the lettering and you are going to actually go over to the selection tool and make sure you have automatic selected for that and you are going to tap on the outside of the letters so i'm going to tap and you might have to edit your selection threshold so to do that you can tap and drag um to up the threshold and we don't want that or go all the way down um i'm going to go to be about let's do um, 56% we'll see if that works and then I'm going to tap on the two insides of the Y and the A okay so now everything outside of those those letters are selected and what we're going to do now is we're going to invert so only the letters are selected and that way you make sure you catch all of the shine um, there as well so what we're going to do with that selected is we are going to go down to our bottom layer and we're going to tap fill layer with that white color so fill layer and now only the letters have that shine with that white underneath and if you take that away you can see the difference there so that's one way to add a colorful background um, and maintain that shine so there you go i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you recreate this i would love to see it you can tag me on instagram at the creative fix and if you enjoyed this tutorial be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and click the notification bell to get notified every time i upload a video thanks for watching